We get up in the black Down the cold town road And we hike along the track Where the cold trains load And we make the ponies pull Till they nearly break their backs And they'll never see again Down the cold town road Coal. Now it's hard to tell when you look at this black flaky rock but this substance changed the world. And when it was found in Alberta, it changed the province and its people as well. So what is it? Well, first it's a fossil fuel. Fossil because it was created from the remains of plants that lived millions of years ago. Now originally, plants stored energy from the sun as chemical potential energy through photosynthesis. Now, over a long period of time, around 160 million years, a process called carbonization occurred in which organic material was turned into hydrocarbon through bacterial decay and the Earth's pressure. The resulting product, coal, is a fairly common resource and can be found in deposits near the Earth's surface, in mountains or foothills where rivers and streams have gouged deep channels through the soil. A coal is found in seams that run hundreds of feet underground and can even be found in outcroppings in prairie regions. So what's so valuable about this stuff? Well, when burned, coal releases the stored energy inside and gives off intense, sustained heat. Or when heated in a closed container, coal releases coal gas, mainly hydrogen and methane. Now, coal gas itself is a fuel. It was used to heat homes, light street lights, and power factories during the 19th and early 20th centuries. Humans have used coal around the world for the last four or 5,000 years. The Iron and Bronze Ages could not have happened without it. The blacksmiths in Europe, the Middle East, and China also discovered that coal was necessary for the superheating and purification of iron and other ores to become steel. In Alberta, the first known use of coal was by Aboriginal people who occasionally used it to darken their faces for ceremonial purposes. They did not use coal for heating or cooking. Wood was plentiful and even cooking food over buffalo dung fires was preferable to the taste left by a coal fire. When Europeans arrived later and built fur trade posts, coal fired the forges in their blacksmith shops. Then, in the late 1800s, cattle ranchers and homesteaders arrived who sought coal for heating. With more settlers came railways. And their incredible expansion in the late 19th and early 20th centuries brought an ever-increasing demand for coal. Small coal companies sprung up to serve the growing towns and cities. Over a thousand mines opened in Alberta by 1925, most of which were in the vicinity of emerging communities. The first coal mine in Alberta was opened in 1874 by Nicholas Sharon on the banks of the Old Man River near present-day Lethbridge. It was followed nearly a decade later by the construction of another mine in what is now the city of Lethbridge by Alexander and Elliot Galt. The coal from their mine was bound for the Canadian Pacific Railway branch line that the Galts would help bring to the region. The CPR was a reliable customer to have as it became the principal user of coal through many years of expansion. The use of coal continued to increase. Evolving communities such as Edmonton, Calgary and Medicine Hat began to develop small coal mines along the banks of nearby rivers in addition to coal gas production companies. In 1897, a railway was completed from Lethbridge through the Crow's Nest Pass, which soon boasted mining towns like Blairmore, Coleman, and Bellevue. The Crow's Nest Pass soon became one of the main coal-producing regions in Canada. In 1910, the railway was extended to Edson. The southwest of Edson, the Coal Branch mining area was established in the foothills of the Rockies. In 1912, a CPR branch line reached Drumheller in the coal-rich valley of the Red Deer River. Coal was the key element in this cycle of expansion. It powered railways, which opened up the west, which allowed more coal to be discovered and allowed even greater expansion. 
When the First World War broke out, Alberta was second only to Nova Scotia in the quantity of coal mined. By 1921, 41% of all Canada's coal was unearthed in Alberta. As an export commodity, coal was only surpassed by grain. As the 20th century wore on, coal mining increased in areas like the Crow's Nest Pass, but so too did the number of mining accidents. The life of a coal miner was a tough, dangerous job. 31 miners were killed by an explosion in the Bellevue mine in 1910. Major disasters happened in the town of Frank in 1903, where the partial collapse of Turtle Mountain resulted in the deaths of approximately 90 people. But Canada's worst mining disaster occurred in 1914, when 189 miners lost their lives in a massive mine explosion near Hillcrest. Disasters like these led to the need for improvement in working conditions at the mines. Miner solidarity and union loyalty grew, and groups demanded improved working conditions that resulted in a number of strikes right across the province. Coal continued to be a major source of energy in Alberta until after the Second World War. In 1947, the oil age began. Within a few years, railway engines switched from steam to diesel, and automobiles became most people's primary transportation. Coal production slowed. Many mining towns in the Alberta foothills and Drumheller area fell into decline. In recent years, mines that were originally developed to provide electricity, like the one at Wobbleman, west of Edmonton, have been closed due to environmental concerns and plant obsolescence. However, lately, due to the growing demand for energy, there has been an increase in coal production in Alberta. Although greatly diminished in use, coal is still a factor in the uncertain world of energy supply and demand. Coal was the first fossil fuel to be used on a large scale, making industrialization and globalization possible. In Alberta, coal helped to open the West. It created jobs that in turn led to the creation of communities that exported energy resources to the rest of Canada and beyond. Until 1947, coal was the most common source of energy in Alberta. It was used for heating, industrial production, to power the steam locomotives of the West, and was the key to coal smelted iron. Although greatly diminished in use today, Coal continues to play a part in providing for Alberta's energy future. It's a part of Alberta's energy resources heritage.